Right, I'm here with Malcolm Keelty, who's uh, due an MBE for his services to wheelchair rugby. That's right, isn't it? So well, I've already got it. Sorry, I was, yeah, sorry, I was, I was messing with you earlier. <laughs> Winding me up, bit of banner. Suitable for rugby, him. He's got me, bent me over here. Uh, so how did you get involved in wheelchair rugby? How did you founder it? It goes back a couple of years, but uh, clearly rugby league in the, in the DNA with, with, my, with my family as a running game, you know. Um, having a disability pretty much all my life, I was involved with wheelchair sports. And around about 2005, the French came over and somebody found me and I had to sort of, I was, I was it in England to start things going over here. So that's how it started, got going. So we, we sort of grew it from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And we've just heard the crowd cheering there. Big Halifax supporters. Your dad is a legend here, Stan. Yeah, yeah, he played for Halifax sort of 40, 1947, 58 sort of area. So yeah. that, that's the time, you know. Um, so clearly, I had to go in those days as a child. Now I do because I like it, you know. But uh, yeah, growing up with the game, growing up with the club, it felt like it was a job that had to be done when Wheelchair Rubble came into this country. Then uh, we, we, we sort of got the ball rolling and now there's... There's, it's played in about five counties and there's about 20 teams playing up and down the, the country. So we just need more people playing. Um, Brilliant, absolutely. Thank for your efforts, mate. You inspire people like me and Alex, and it's a real pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. Yeah, take care. Cheers, mate.